example of the Pakistani government, you want to eliminate the entirety of the U.S. aid that they receive. I used to be Pakistan's best friend. Right. <clears throat> what happened? They were our allies back when we were fighting the Russians. And uh, even then, they were playing us for suckers. Even then, they gave the lion's share of the support that we provided to the Mujahideen, to radical Islamists. Well, over the years, how much more do they have to do before we realize they've been lying to us? They're, the leadership in Pakistan have been lying to us, and they are allied with people who hate our way of life and wish to do harm to Americans. Well, a lot of people agree with what you just said, how you characterized their relationship with us. Just to put numbers on this, since about 2002, we have given them about 11.7, close to $12 billion in military aid and economic aid, totaling a bit over $6 billion. So you're talking there about 12 uh, excuse me, about $18 billion of aid, military and, fin and, uh, and economic. And we have $6 billion more in, uh, in the system that's heading to them in the next couple of years. Here's the question I want to ask. Let's see if we can get our arms around this question. What interests do we have in Pakistan? Let's see if we can take them off. They are a major nuclear power. Is that, is that correct? Well, I would say they are a nuclear power. They're well, not a major nuclear power. I, I say major yes. because the numbers, I think, are they're about to get and, 100. Yes, and again, what happened? We gave them aid. Instead of using that aid to help their own people, they used it to build nuclear weapons. Now, how many times do they have to insult us to do things that put us in danger before we say it's time for a shift? We shift totally away from a new from a positive relationship with Pakistan to being an ally with India, who has been dying to be our friend all these years. Powerful argument. What I want to do is for, for our viewers, see if we can agree on what the interests are that we either share or that our interests in Pakistan. One is their nuclear weapons, about 100 of them, increased 40% over the last two years, about to overtake if Britain. we let them dictate to us right. what's in our interest because they have nuclear not, weapons, we will not have their respect and we will end up in even more trouble. Could not agree with you more. Just trying to get number right. two is al-Qaeda and the Taliban. They have been using Pakistan as their home base. They are, the, the, the leadership of Pakistan, meaning especially the military leadership, has been in alliance with our enemies, the al-Qaeda, the, the Taliban, all along. along. And, we, and we've been unwilling to, to, to confront them with it. We accept their lies over and over again. How can they lie about this and expect to be when taken When you become seriously? a critic, you really go the whole way. You're not taking anything for them. And just so it's clear, the al-Qaeda and Taliban headquarters and where they are is right along that Afghan border where they took, went they over been, from... They, They've, they created the Taliban, and after 9-11, after the Taliban were driven out, they provided a safe haven every, all these years. The Taliban still have a safe haven in Pakistan. Okay, and, and of where course... Do they get, and by the way, where do they get their supplies to fight us? From the Pakistanis, letting them uh, resupply their efforts. And of course, no doubt, after the past couple of days, you would add on top of this litany of things we either care about or where our interests converge, you would say, no doubt, they've been shielding bin Laden through their intelligence agencies. That's correct. All right, now, here's the question, though. You want to eliminate this financial aid. I understand at a visceral level, of course you want to do that. But if we do that, does that not eliminate whatever leverage we might have to bring them towards us? Just the opposite. They Explain. think we're fools. They're playing And we for... are fools. We're fools for giving somebody who hates right. our way of life and has been doing so many things to put us in jeopardy and to give them money. They, 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 don't, they won't respect anybody like that. And we will be in worse danger by having a lack of respect by the, from these people than if we say, okay, you've proven yourself our, you're our enemy. We're going to make friends with India. Well, let me add one other fact here, which actually cuts in, in your favor. There was a meeting on April 16. We know about this from news reports that were pretty detailed between the Prime Minister of Pakistan, President Karzai of Afghanistan, in which supposedly the Pakistani Prime Minister said, get rid of the United States. We're kicking out the CIA. Let's begin to t lean towards China. Right. They are the future. Now, but again, if and we... by the way, Pakistan, Karzai wouldn't even be in power in Afghanistan except for the we were trying to play up to the Pakistanis and put Karzai in when he should never have been the leader you, of that you country. You make a powerful argument that at many levels we should just say, forget it, guys, you're That's on right. your own. And you know but, what? We should, yeah. we should say that, and we should say, and... We people, want it back. And you know what? And Afghanistan and Pakistan, settle your own problems. We're, we're leaving. We're, we're no longer okay. going to have our troops there uh, to take the hits but, from your people. But, but here's the question. We have, despite their public arguments, their public cries, been sending drone attacks into Pakistan in, un, uh, in numbers that had never been matched before the past couple of years under President Obama, and President Bush did it as well, to get rid of the al-Qaeda leadership. Do we not need some cooperation with the Pakistani leadership to do that? Do we not need a pretty good relationship no. with their military? No. 
Okay. Why not? Well, number one, uh, we don't need to go and destroy all the Taliban leadership. But Al-Qaeda... Okay, unless, unless they are threatening to us, all right? And the Al-Qaeda leadership, unless they are threatening to us, uh, these, you have to remember, the Al-Qaeda uh, philosophy and the, and the Taliban, the Pakistani leadership has the same philosophy. We are dealing but, with our enemies here. I, I, again, I, as I said, I agree with the articulation of the facts. The question is, how do you then get the leverage to persuade them to act otherwise, other than through this ongoing relationship building? You don't give Some them money. Them you don't give them money so they think that we're weak and foolish and cowardly. What you do is you say, you're on your own. And, and, and then you ally with other powers in the area who are their enemies. And Such as? Well, such, such as India. India. So you're saying oh, such as the India. There are lots of countries around the, around Pakistan. Uh, I mean, even we could even bring the Russians back okay. into the. But region. let me switch gears quickly. You were at the briefing today where you yes. got significant details about the attack on the compound. Yes. What was the detail you've heard that was most amazing, most startling, that, that was most revealing? I can't say because it was a classified. All right. Well, the, the one you can tell us. Um, I can't say because it was a classified <laughs> All right. We can't. I guess we have no choice but to take that as an answer. Congressman, when it is declassified 85 years from now, you'll come back and uh, sure. give us more details. All right, Congressman, thanks so much for being here. All right.